Hi everyone, here in this lecture I am going to deal about the fetal skull and it is an important topic for practical purpose of all the nursing courses. It is the most difficult part whether it is to be delivered first or last and it consisting of the cranial bones which forms vault, facial bones which forms face and the base part and these cranial bones accommodate the important organ that is called brain inside it. So, in this practical aspect I am going to deal about the various aspect of fetal skull and these are the bones, sutures, fontanels, areas and the diameters of fetal skull. So, let us have a look on the fetal bone. Fetal bone consisting of two frontal bone and these bones form forehead or sensiput and at the center of these two consisting of ossification center and is termed as frontal eminence both side. Posterior or superior to that is two parietal bones and at the center of these two parietal bones is the ossification center, it is the parietal eminence and posterior which form the back of the skull is the occipital bone and the occipital region and this occipital region consisting of one opening and this opening is termed as foramen magnum through which spinal cord runs and it connected by the brain and on the either side or the lateral aspect there are two flat bones and these are the temporal bones. So, the bones are two frontal two parietal bones, one occipital bone and two temporal bones. Then comes the suture or sutures are the cranial joint where the two bones come closure and the sutures are in between the two frontal bone is the frontal suture and it is also known as metopic suture and between the two frontal and the parietal bone is the coronal suture and it lies at the farthest point of the temples. Then posterior to that is which is lie between the two parietal bones is sagittal or longitudinal suture and posterior to that is one lambdoidal suture which lies between the occipital bone and the two parietal bones and two on the either side are the squamous suture and these squamous sutures lies between the temporal bone and the parietal bone both side. So, the sutures are frontal, coronal suture, sagittal suture, lambdoidal suture or squamous suture. Next comes the fontanels and there are six fontanels in the fetal skull. Out of them two has got obstetrical significance anteriorly there is a anterior fontanel or the bregma and it is bounded anteriorly by the frontal suture laterally by the coronal suture or posteriorly by the sagittal suture and it is of diamond or kite shaped structure it is also known as bregma and it become ossified or closes or it become fuses at the age of 18 month or one and a half year Posterior to that is the posterior fontanel and it is triangular shaped structure. It is bounded laterally by the lambdoidal suture or anteriorly by the sagittal suture and it become fuses or ossified at the age of 6 week or 1 and half month and it is look like a Greek letter lambda. And the other two fontanels which has less clinical importance are the anterior lateral which are paired and known as sphenoid fontanel or posterior lateral that is mastoid fontanel. So, these two are the paired one. So, here are the six fontanels anterior fontanel bregma, posterior fontanel lambda, two anterior fontanel sphenoid or two posterior fontanel mastoid. Next comes the regions or the areas. So, here you can see it is the cephalic 
or head part or in the cephalic presentation there are the three presenting part which comes in relation with the maternal pelvis like you can see there are the three when the head is fully flexed in that condition the presenting part would be vertex so here you can see so vertex is a circular area which is bounded posteriorly by the posterior fontanel or lambda laterally by the parietal eminence or anteriorly by the bregma or coronal suture so this is the vertex presenting part and when the head is partially extended in that condition the presenting part would be pro presentation or the sinciput so the pro presenting part extends posteriorly from the anterior fontanel or bregma or the coronal suture or anteriorly by the supra orbital ridges and the point between them is the glabella so this region is termed as bro or sinciput and the third condition in which when the head is completely extended the presenting part would be the face in face presenting part it extends from supra orbital ridges or the glabella till the base of the neck or the mentum so this is the smallest area of the cephalic presentation so these are the three areas that is the vertex the pro or sinciput or third is the face so these all three presenting part are present in the cephalic presentation it means in that all condition the head comes first in the last aspect of the fetal skull i am going to discuss about the diameters or to understand these all diameters i have an easy trick so this is in sos send sms please transfer some money so first start with the anterior posterior diameter in that sos these three letters indicate the diameters which start from the occipital region so first is s s denotes sub occipito bregmatic the point extends from below the occipital protuberance till the bregma and this is about 9.5 cm next is o o means occipito frontal the point extends from occipital protuberance till the glabella a point between the eyebrow and it is about 11.5 cm next is s s indicate sub occipito frontal the point from below the occipital protuberance till the midpoint of frontal suture and it is about 10 cm then next is sms in sms these three letters indicates the diameters which starts from the mentum it means the chin so the first letter is s and this s indicate sub mento bregmatic means the point extend below the chin till the bregma and this is about 9.5 cm the next m mento vertex the point extend from the mentum or chin till the highest point of the vertex and this is about 13.5 to 14 cm and it is highest diameter in the anterior posterior diameter and the third s denotes the submento vertex that is the point from the chin joints the neck till the highest point of the vertex so this submento vertex is about 11.5 cm so these six are the anterior posterior diameters next comes the transverse diameter and for the transverse diameter the trick is please transfer some money in that p indicates by parietal diameters the distance between the two parietal eminence and it is about 9.5 cm transfer the t indicates by temporal diameter that is the point extend at the farthest point of coronal suture at the temples and it is about 8 to 8.2 cm third one is sum and in this 
S denote super subparietal diameter. The point extend from above the parietal eminence of one side till the below point of next parietal eminence. So, it is applicable for both side above from this side and below till this side and it is about 8.5 centimeter and the last is money and m denotes by mastoid diameter that is the distance between the mastoid process of temporal bone and it is about 7.5 centimeter. This is the smallest diameter in the transverse. So, here we have seen the anterior posterior and the transverse diameter with this easy trick. So, the trick is in SOS send SMS please transfer some money. So, here in this lecture we have discussed about the various aspect of fetal skull that is the bones, sutures, fontanelles, different areas that is the parts of cephalic presentation and the diameters. So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and for more lectures you can visit our site.